What's going on, YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co-host, Tanea. Hey, guys. What's going and on? We're... Sorry. Are you excited? Sorry. Hey, guys. What's going on? Finish. Yes. And we're back with an all-new video. Today is... Are you in uppers? Tuesday. I can't have uppers. Today is Tuesday, February the 13th, the day before Valentine's Day. Don't forget, everybody, strap up tomorrow because if you don't, you could produce Actually, a Scorpio. Actually, guys, go ahead and shoot the club up. No, we don't we want We need anyone. more love. We need more love in the world. We don't need any more demons on earth. Come from Scorpios because we are love babies. Please. Um, I made that up straight off the dome. I hope you guys are having a great week. Shout out to the people who have been just making so many jokes about me and Tanea being so consistent with these videos. I told y'all that in 2024, we were going to be more consistent. Maybe because we've told a couple of fibs over the years. You guys didn't believe us, but here we are back. We don't, I don't, did we tell some fibs over the years? You know, like, see you next week. And we ain't come back. Well, we didn't know we wasn't coming. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Yeah, we yeah. didn't know. It was all with good intentions. But we're back. Um, I wanted to squeeze in a quick video. Of course, you guys know tomorrow is the big day. Oh, God. I am losing my <laughs> uterus. And you know what you told them? The next video I you see, <laughs> I don't have my uterus. So she still has it. My cervix and my fallopian tubes. Next I thought time, you were keeping something. My ovaries. The next time you see me, all of those things will be gone. But you know, as I've been thinking about it, you really are one lucky girl. Imagine 37, not a period, not a crime. Well, see, that would Woo! all be fine and dandy if I didn't have to go through the storm that I went to to get here, you know. Yeah, so it's just like, imagine, you, it's like, it's Bleeding never going to happen balls, again. Like, you never, you're never going to have, like, oh my God, did I bleed through my pants? Cramps. Like, you're never going to have that again. Well, I actually was looking at the pads in my drawer, and I was like, oh my God, I've spent so much money on pads over the years, so I'm happy about that. Oh, I was going to say you can do it. <laughs> Yeah, somebody leave. Sorry, yeah. sorry. See ya. Um, but I don't have that many left because <laughs> I don't have that many left. I was counting down the days, so I am just happy to be getting this over with. Um, I really just want to get through the recovery. Y'all know, um, I can be a scaredy cat. I'm trying to be a scaredy cat, but I have a very low pain tolerance. Um, I'm gonna go home today and just like really finish preparing. Uh, so I'm excited to just be getting this over with. What does prepare mean? Cleaning? Well, no, I pretty much cleaned. I ordered a new bed in a bag. It's getting delivered today. So I'm going to wash that. that. And um, What color is it? Black. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was feeling like I would feel cozy in like a black set. Okay, nice. Um, Tanea told me earlier she got me a pregnancy pillow. I'm so excited about that. Um... And yeah, I got me a humidifier because I sweat so bad at night. My mm. friend Chrissy braided my hair yesterday. Y'all, I'm prepared. Like, I am prepared. I'm prepared. So, yeah. Um, So, let's get into this week's topics. Let's just go ahead and start this out with um the Super Bowl. Very disappointing. Um, But we all knew what was going to happen. The Chiefs won. I want and need for y'all to know that. As soon as I knew they were about to make the touchdown, as soon as they crossed the line, my finger was already right here. And before I could see any celebrating, it was boop. Mm. I cut that sh off so fast. I just couldn't see it. I couldn't handle it. Um, I know it was a, a scheme that Todd set up. You know, this whole Taylor Swift circus um, and constantly seeing her and then Kelsey and then the mixed man who act like he white. It's just all too much for me. Um, I'm very sad about it. And I'm no 49ers fan. Never have, probably never will be. But I I really wanted them to win, so I was very sad. But um, let's get into, like, the Usher Bowl. How did you feel about Usher's performance? I feel great about it. It's I like, thought it was, it was a good time. Me, I said, oh, I know for a fact I'm going to sing. It was a good time. It was confirmed. It was like a blast from the past, It too. was very nostalgic. Yes, very. yes, yes. It was definitely some songs that I actually... Forgot about, and I was like, wow, like, what I probably, you forget about? just like some of them he was singing. Which one? I can't remember the, the I set list. I forgot about the thing. 
I did. I me. The only thing I was upset about Usher is I don't understand why you didn't do Lovers and Friends. Like that's I don't feel like he felt dot. like he could fit it in. All of the people were there so that you could do it. So it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, yeah, there were actually some way for you to squeeze it in. You could have replaced it with Alicia Keys. I'm not really sure <coughs> whose thoughts this was. I mean, see, what I need y'all to understand is because we we talked about Alicia Keys a lot on this show. It's been years. But at some point, we had a list of people that we didn't want to talk about anymore. And Alicia almost made the list. Because mm -hmm. we used to talk about her quite often. No, we did. Um, we all know what Alicia is like live. So as soon as it was announced, I was just confusion. Yeah, but Be they had been saying like, oh, she's practicing, practicing, practicing. So I was like, okay. I'm sure she practiced in the past too. I mean... I love most of Alicia Keys' songs. I mean, she's an icon at this Especially point. Especially like the first like, two or three albums. Yeah, but live on your biggest night, Usher, couldn't understand it. Um, the very first note, I knew what we were in for. Got a little better, but I knew what we were in for. Um, it's so funny that literally all of us um, reacted the same way. We all knew. I saw somebody tweet literally the night before, I hope Alicia is drinking tea with honey and lemon yeah, right now what I just, it always just sounds so dry we knew what we were in for um but the, i mean it was a good time i mean it was I, a good time nonetheless i don't need i need y'all to understand like there are just songs that you just really don't want to hear anymore like that's how much they were played my boo is on that list like yeah i don't i actually <sighs> never need to hear my boo again in my life I had a friend, and we called each other my boo, and that was, like, my ringer for him. And it was just, like, when I think of that song, hopefully he's not watching. Much love right. to you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> much love to you. Uh, but that song makes me sick to my stomach, along with um, Alicia Keys, If You Ask Me, I'm Ready. Hey! How many times she gonna be on the list? And Drake's, um... I better find your love. I gotta listen to that again. Like, sometimes if it sneaks in on a playlist, I'll listen without skipping. It. It, and it also reminds me a lot of my past. Like, it just, you know how they say, like, songs connect with, like, you can remember a memory or emotion you was feeling? Those would those songs be for me, and I don't have time for that. Um, but, I mean, it was, nonetheless, it was nice to see Alicia. I saw a lot of you all at in Swiss Beats. Um, somebody tweeted earlier, and I felt the same way. Since when has Swiss Beats ever been a part of monogamy? I. My thing is, y'all, Swiss Beats, Swiss Beats, Swiss Beats. Nobody is saying anything or offering any type of condolences to, uh, to Usher's new wife. Well, I think that's because he does this every night in Vegas anyway. I don't care. She probably, I mean, maybe she felt some type of way about Kiki Palmer too. She just didn't tweet about it. I don't think so. I, don't um, I wouldn't be worried about it because as long as he was coming home to me. No, but I'm just saying America is just crazy how, oh, Swiss Beats, Swiss Beats, Swiss Beats. What about Homegirl? That's why I don't like y'all. Swiss Beats wasn't worried about that shit. Never forget Masika. But I don't, I'm not going to go there. Um, but I thought Usher did great. I, like I said last week, I feel like his rollout has been really good. His album is out. He's announced his tour. He's added more dates. He's yeah. got the Super Bowl. He's gotten us all pumped up and ready for the tour. I will say this. I think I said this last week, too. I'm not in the mood for Ticketmaster. And Ticketmaster is already on this best bullshit with Usher's concert. I mean, long I lines just to get inserted. I'm I mean, at the enter stuff I don't... Oh, I Because which one of them is it that got corner? I think it might be stuff I can one do of all, every. I can do everything with any of it. So, so you just let me know. I but might just I'm have just to saying, do that. I already know. I'm probably going to just wait, buy me a ticket on the day of or maybe the day before. Not I mean, it's the day Baltimore. Of. And it, we have... I think we have two shows. days now. Yeah, yeah. so I'm... Oh, I'm going to get in there. So, yeah. it's not... I'm not even worried. Yeah, so I really want to go. Um, but, yeah, overall, I think I thought you did a good job. A lot of y'all were going in on Jermaine Dupri. I mean... Jermaine Dupri looked like a goddamn leprechaun. He does look like a leprechaun. You know what? And this is from one not-so-tall person to another. Sometimes it's certain bottoms we can't wear because we don't have enough legs. And socks. Those knickerbockers that you had on, that capri pant tux that you decide to wear on stage, you don't have enough legs for that. It, the, the legs are already this long. The capri in the mid, it's dropping right there. It's cutting it off, okay? 
you don't have enough leg. And those Easter socks, I don't care how much you paid for them. And I don't care if they were donated for free. You shouldn't have worn them. It made you look like, I was like, well, what is he going to wear on St. Patrick's Day? Because there's my lucky charms. That made and your hair was just bald as hell. Like, you really was given luck for colors. It was crazy. Let me tell you, I was sitting next to Simone, and she started screaming, CeeLo. Then she said, no, 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 it's not CeeLo. It's Will I Am. Oh! Then I said, I think it's Jermaine Dupree. So many emotions in, in just a CeeLo, couple of seconds. CeeLo. No, a but, lot of people thought it was CeeLo. Like, no, because at first when I saw Will I Am in that mask, I said, who the fuck is that? Yeah, and I mean, then I had to remember. He was on Oh My God. Yeah. Um, Because I'm going to sing I should Art. Good to see um, Lil John. I, now, let me tell you something. Oh, little John put on his good shit for the mm. Super Bowl, okay? Because I haven't seen him. Dreads done, nice little chain on, little crocodile outfit with the boots. I was surprised. I said, okay. I was surprised because okay, okay. I saw him in a recent interview. And that wasn't the little John. That's well, you know, sometimes you know how people get, you know, when they're going out. That might have been a work from home day. You know how we look when we work from home. Yeah, oh, go to the gas station. Yeah, so, so it could have been anything. Um, and I feel like I always see Ludacris, so, I mean, that wasn't exciting. It's just like, hey, 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 hey. Um, so, yeah, great performance. Yeah, I Everybody really it. loved it. Um, I mean, Usher is a performer. I don't, I don't know what you're I love about. that they said it was, like, the most viewed Super Bowl. I feel like they say that every year, though, because they said that about Rihanna's. Every, I think every year it's more and more. Yeah. But I feel like this year, like, somebody had said it, like, Everybody likes Usher, mm -hmm. from like the old to the young. Like everybody loves Usher, so I could just see my grandmother might have watched it. Like I'm not sure. Everybody yeah, loves Usher. They out here talking about they want YMCMB to do the next one. Yo, and honestly and truly, if it's in New Orleans, it's not. It's, it's not. Ha hold on. It's, not it's never gonna happen. White America. They're gonna never happen. gonna let Absolutely us listen not. to Wayne's flip. On in like in the NFL, like it would be great. if it happened, it would be great. But I, I'm never going to get myself excited for anything like that. First of all, people hate Nicki Minaj. Uh, but I'm just saying that a lot of people don't like her. Um, they hate Drake too. Yeah, a lot of people hate Drake too. They do love, um, but you know what? And white people go, it's not the young white people. It's the older white people who are kind of like anti Little Wayne. So mm -hmm. I just don't know how it will work, but I. I would personally love it. Yeah, it would be a good time. Somebody was just saying, um, they wonder what the who is like. Is it like a committee who picks who's going to do the Super Jay Z. Bowl? Jay Z. Oh. That's his job. He's on the entertainment board. Okay. That's why they've been lit for the past few years. It's like I think he's been doing this since like 2019. Somebody said T Pain. I think that would be a good time. No, too. T and T Pain definitely got the hits. Mm. And got the moves, okay? Mm. See, Kane be dancing, pop and lock. I've and also so. heard Master Pedo because it's going to be a new one. Make him say, ooh. Mm. Please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, days before Verizon comes out. What the days? I, maybe it was a day. It was like was it, like it was like 18 hours. And they started talking about some surprise they had. Yeah, you better be there. And it's right up the street. I know you hate it. Um, you know, teasing us, saying that they had something coming. They had Renee and like a little commercial. Shout out to Renee. Renee, be out here, yeah, okay? Yeah. Renee be out here more than Beyonce. Yeah. I don't know how Renee gets around because Renee is big. Yeah, well, she gets around. But she gets around. Yeah. Can't miss her. She's well, I mean, she time. said, you know, for a check, I'll be there. I mean, I'm pretty sure she made a lot at the Renaissance. Yeah. Store. So she should be retired. Right yeah, now. she should be sitting her ass down. But anyway, um, so lots of speculation, rumors that it was going to be the Las Vegas residency. I'm happy it wasn't that shit. Let me tell you something. That stressed me out. I don't want that. I don't have the funds for that. I don't have the funds. Why do you think I didn't go see Usher or Adele? These Las Vegas residencies are high. You have to compete with rich people and celebrities. You have to have somewhere to stay. It's just too that much. That Beyonce, I can see Kevin Hart's ass going there five times. Like, no. Like, no. The celebrities would eat us 
Uh, yeah. Like, we would not be able to go. Because so it no. don't be that many damn tickets. Yeah. So, I was very stressed about that. Because I was just like, come on, guys. We not ready for that. Now, I really want her to drop the live stream and to put the movie on streaming. But I felt like, why would that be in a Verizon commercial? Like, Because mm -hmm. somebody was saying it had something to do with Veeps. And Veeps had something to do with... Uh, HBO, so that's how they was all connecting it. So it might be. So I'm just like, mm, I don't but know. But you know, they they will let y'all asses play, play Columbo and get their engagement up, and it's not even what it is. So, yeah. and then they were talking about how much Beyonce paid for this commercial. What I need y'all to understand is Beyonce paid. That's what they said. Beyonce paid that's or Verizon paid Beyonce. People who have Verizon have your bill winner. Then we know who paid who. Okay. I'm just saying, but I don't want y'all to ever talk about costs when it comes to Beyonce because Beyonce and her husband are billionaires. Um, eighteen That's like the million. Only thing I don't like about it's them, like it's eighteen dollars, like... eighteen hundred dollars, yeah. whatever you want to call it. It means nothing to them. So, and Beyonce makes money in her sleep. So I don't want y'all to ever worry about. I can't believe Beyonce paid this much money. I don't think Beyonce paid for it. Everybody relax. Um, she has it. I don't think Beyonce paid for it. I'm just gonna say that um, she may have, but I just don't think Beyonce paid for it. I mean, because honestly, that was a big deal. Anybody could would have wanted to. Yeah, that. anybody. Any would have. any phone deal, any company would have loved this. So I don't know about that. But so at any rate, the commercial comes on after Usher and. It was just so good I to see it. <laughs> I, after the commercial, I literally lost my mind. Well, I was just so confused, but I was excited about the commercial. I mean, because when was the last time Beyonce did a commercial? Like, I'm so happy we have it on the internet. We can save it. I feel like our last real commercial might have been the Pepsi. One. Yeah, and it was so many skits. I was just like, oh my God. Like, I was just having such a nice time. But after that, nothing happened. And then, so I went to go clean up. No, I never moved. I, I went to go clean up. Mm -mm, no, because I was like, I want to go back the dog, <coughs> but I feel like tired. something's going to happen. Like, I kept saying something's going to happen, something's going to happen. And then she puts out that um, Act 2 was coming, and it was going to be on March the 29th, which I'm just like, bitch, what? See, because... This ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> See, because when it comes to Beyonce, it's just so many, like, rumors, because... From what y'all said, Act Two was the movie, and we can't trust these niggas. They don't know more than we know. We I don't, don't listen to them. I don't really believe anything. I, but I, I don't. Y'all can go back on these videos, and I've already said no. It. She doesn't believe anything. If Beyonce don't say it, I act like it's not even happening. Yeah, I know. I it's 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 out of my brain. Um, so then she put out with the titles of with, of the first two singles, and then they drop. Um, the first one is called what was it, Texas, Hold Texas Hold'em. Texas Hold'em and um, 16, 16 Carriages. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, but I am going, I'm not going to act the way I did about Renaissance and stuff because I know that I'm going to be on board regardless. I am not the biggest country girl. But I do like these songs. I'm hoping she put she brings Reba's ass on something. Yeah, I she love Reba. Will. Or Dolly. Reba, Dolly. And the Dixie Chick. Or what's um, one of the black guys. The, um, oh, I'm excited. But I don't know how I feel about a whole country album. Regardless, we ride oh, and dawn. I'm going to be on board. Said, shoot, I'm going to learn to dance to all of them. See, I don't you care. Know, I, sometimes I would I would skip that song because I got you tired are of it. Lame. I got tired of it, but I don't know how I feel about a full country album, but I'm going to get on board. It's probably going to be. It's, I couldn't see Beyonce putting out like 16 songs of country. It's I don't gonna know. Be, if she does, I'm going to listen to it. I it doesn't know. matter. <laughs> it, does, it doesn't matter. But yeah, she's always life. trying to teach us something and show us what we need in our life. So I'm I'm going into this open minded. Mm -hmm. uh, my worries and fears are a, a tour. Beyonce, I don't need that I'm in my worried. life right now. No, I'm worried. I'm not worried. I'm worried. Me I'm, and my pockets are worried. I've already decided. Um, no. a, a few of you may get links to my OnlyFans. <laughs> um, it's gonna be surprises on there Please. and. I'm gonna do what I gotta do to get what I got done to get what I gotta get done. Okay. Um, Beyonce looks so beautiful at the Super Bowl and the pictures that she uploaded that day. I mean, this bitch is trying to say that Beyonce was copying off of her hair. Now you did wear it to the Bad Boy concert. Remember how you had was for the Bad Boy concert? Yes. I do remember you wearing it. And when we went to go see Janet Jackson. I'm just telling y'all. <laughs> Beyonce is like, it wasn't I love that me and Beyonce are 
my hair, my hair had been blonde. blonde. When my hair it was blonde, 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 it was. I'm, I was just blonde, blonde like two years ago. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the thing about it is, I love when me and Beyonce are on, are on the same wavelength. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I love when our minds are thinking together. So I'm gonna go back blonde. It was beautiful. She looks so good. I'm going back blonde, y'all. She looks so good. This name Texas. So today, how do you feel about the songs? I love the songs. I think I have probably listened to them way too many times than I should have for songs that just came out. Is it one you like more than the other? You know what, like, guys? And I know everybody is on the, you know, internet talking about 16 carriages, 16 carriages, but... You like Texas Hold'em? Texas Hold'em does something to my soul. Like, I really, really, really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. I said, Beyonce gonna have our asses Yoda win. Well, and I said, cannot wait. The thing of, they said the thing about it is, is that you have to pay attention to the story of country songs because they're telling the story. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 16 carriages is tea. And it's, then, um... Read so, the lyrics. So many people are talking about they're happy that their silver hat is not going to go to waste. Oh, absolutely. So many people bought like cowboy hats. I'm about to buy one. I'm about to buy one. Y'all better get them before. When I tell y'all that I... When I tell y'all I already have an outfit and the fact that it just really goes with this <laughs> era so much more. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm sure excited. she's working on some merch soon. She could put those pictures she had out the other it day It could be actually, honestly and truly... She could give the same shit, honestly. Like, it could be the same thing. Because she wore a lot of hats. She was actually trying to tell us at the Grammys. Yeah. Thing. And I don't know why a lot of y'all are surprised because, I mean, Beyonce is country as hell. She's from Texas. Yes. Obviously, we already see that um, <clears throat> some radio stations are refusing to play it. I did Because they said it. she's not a country um, artist, but we'll see at the CMAs. We'll see what happens at the we'll, CMAs. We'll see. we'll see. I'm pretty sure she's going to perform. I don't even know when the CMAs come you on. You know what? Just if Beyonce's ass goes on tour with this, I think I want to go to like Tennessee to see this show. <laughs> I want to go to the real country niggas. All okay. right, let's let's move. Joy, on. I'm coming. Let's move on. Um, but we're very excited about um Beyonce. Obviously, that was another reason why I wanted to record because. If something about Beyonce comes out, I was like, we can't wait another week. We have to tell y'all what we're thinking. We're excited. I'm, excited. I'm just nervous about the money. That's all I'm nervous about. And March is soon. Yeah. Um, but you know what is so funny? <clears throat> because y'all know that <clears throat> after the Grammys, Taylor Swift said that her, her album was oh, coming yeah. out in mm -hmm. April. 329, bitch. <laughs> we got you. I'm just... I can't stand her. Beyonce is just y'all think now how do you feel about what people are saying like they feel like Beyonce was wrong to um outshine Usher first of all on his big night let's start here because Beyonce was trending like number one let's start here number one other unlike what y'all think because like I said I feel like everybody thinks that like stuff plays out as we see it so y'all was like oh the Grammys oh now she decided to do this mm -hmm. and it's just like do y'all know that people work on Super Bowl commercials for like a year? Mm. Like Super Bowl commercials are like worked out way before like we even know anything about it. But they did say that this one was just like I don't made. care. I'm just telling you, it might have just was made. That doesn't mean that the pitch or the idea or whatever. Yeah, no, we know she may have just was thinking about this yeah, in she may have just just been able to actually make it, mm. like had the time to actually make it, so it wouldn't leak, but. This has probably already been on the book. So mm -hmm. it's just like, I don't think she did this purposely to overshadow Usher. Like, that wasn't. No, I don't think she purposely did it, <clears throat> but do you think she's wrong for doing it and it was Usher's night? See, that's what I want you niggas to know. Yeah. Two black people can do <laughs> things in one time. Like, it's Black History Month. We can do whatever we want to do. And that's the thing. She put it out, because imagine, just imagine. If it had came out before. Yeah. That's not what, see, that's always people think she's trying to be number one. Yes. But she really doesn't care about that because she, if you're already number one, you really don't care. You do what you want to do. Well, she didn't want to. <laughs> and she's trending. And that's because and it's also not her fault that the Usher fans really aren't on social media to trend. 
Yeah, they don't really know true. how to work the ass. That's true. So. Because a lot of our mothers like us. Yeah, you know after I mean? his like performance, they, they was tucked away. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the whole point of the commercial was that, you know, at any given time, I can break the internet, so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, and nothing any is, given time. It doesn't, because I want y'all to see, y'all are taking it. Oh, Usher, Usher. It would have been any nigga up there. <laughs> It could have been any. What I'm saying is anybody up there. This would have had to be. I wish, I wish in my heart that Taylor <laughs> Swift was performing. Yeah. I'm I wish that. in my heart that she was I up do. there doing. I do. I do. But I that's do. because I'm messy. <laughs> um, but it is Black History Month, so it's just like yeah. it's whatever. But I would rather. I mean, because also what y'all gotta remember is. Usher and Beyonce appear. It's like yeah. that they're, they're on the same level of iconicness. So it's just like, oh my little sister just put out hers. I just came I just came and killed the Super Bowl and then my my sister just came and did this. Mm -hmm. Do y'all remember the video at the Super Bowl where Usher was taking a video of them? Of him, Beyonce, and Jay Z, but Beyonce thought it was a, a picture, and he was like, "It's a yes. video." And they started like they were probably talking about it back then. You just don't know. You just, like, don't, you just know. don't know. Or like when she first, like when they first announced it, she probably was like, "Usher, let me tell you what's about to happen." Okay. So do your best because thirty seconds after that, I'm going to kill it. What's a forty five second commercial? And you know, Beyonce loves to drop an announcement in Black History Month. Boy, I tell you, the twins. Formation. The, the girl loves a Black History Month drop. Like Super Bowl weekend is hers. Yeah, she does whatever <laughs> she wants. Yeah, she loves. She Super does. She loves Super Bowl she does. weekend. She, does. she loves to do whatever she wants to do. Mm -hmm. The girl is a crazy nut. Yo, the video of her sipping a beer while everybody is losing their mind literally takes me out. I'm one of the people who's losing <laughs> their mind because this is before she the, she put them out. Yeah. So I'm, I'm and I'm about to. I don't even have Spotify. I'm trying to download it on my phone <laughs> to see where it's at. I'm googling two new songs. I'm on the trending page on Twitter. Nothing. I went on title. It was nothing. So we're excited about the new country era, guys. Just put your seatbelts on. Y'all, who's, who's making up the dance? Mm -hmm. I need. I need it. I need it now so I can be ready. The same Texas. They said, child, Beyonce was working during the pandemic. Best believe. This is the stuff that she was sitting down doing. We was wondering what she was doing. She was working. She was working. Well, like I said, I think my thing is, I feel like Beyonce's ass needs to work. If you and your husband are billionaires, work. I don't care about... If I was you, a billionaire, I wouldn't be doing I don't care thing. about people making you stand in line and take pictures. I don't care about you working hard because... You you need the work. Let's move on. Um, speaking of concerts and tours, Nicki Minaj, as we know, is going on tour very very soon. I really do want to go. Let me um, tell you what's pissing me off about her. What's the problem? Have you been seeing her putting up little yes. things? Yes, I have. Little have problem. you noticed who's not dancing? Nicki, because she's know. taking the video. She That's dance. my thing. I I want to see you one two step. No, we're going to listen. I don't want to see them. I don't. If Nicki Minaj, if you lay on this ground one time during this tour, you're gonna piss me off. No, go ahead and get pissed off now because she's going to do it. Um, but she announced. Well, actually, Monica announced that she will be joining Nicki Minaj on the tour. How do you feel about that? Hopefully, she sings so gone. I love Monica. I do too. Like I'm so excited about it, and I haven't seen Monica live, so it's kind of like a. One, two, I feel like out. she was at the she wasn't at the bad boy thing. No, I feel like I've seen her. Yeah, as I, a um, beginner somewhere. And it's crazy to me that I haven't seen Nikki. So that's why I really do want to go, and I do like this album. Um, I'm not for the shenanigans though. Speaking of shenanigans, uh, but this is why people think y'all crazy. No. Do y'all know that that clip of the commercial where she says? Barbe and they, if she, I think she gets in the chrome mm -hmm. and she's like, no. Now they're trying to say that she's shading Nikki. I said, y'all, y'all are crack babies. Cut it out. Cut it out. That's not what's 
happening here? Can I say something? Beyonce doesn't have to shade Nicki Minaj. Beyonce likes Nicki Minaj. She probably doesn't like her behavior sometimes like us, but she don't have no issue. So everybody calm down in Black History Month. Nicki Minaj, I mean, Beyonce is Switzerland, okay? She, she likes, likes everybody. Nicki and Meg. She yeah, likes both of them. I mean, I it's mean. nothing good. She had a song with both of them. Y'all just have to get it over with. She invited both of them to her tour. Beyonce never had special guests. Like, she invited Nicki Minaj and Meg Thee Stallion. So please, guys, come. I mean, she did HBO with Nicki. I mean, with Nicki Minaj. Like, come on, please, come and out. And uh -uh. that title thing when she went crazy. So, yeah, yeah. Let's never forget that because she scared the shit out of Jay Z. Me too. Um, so yeah, please. Um, I but I do. I want to go to Nicki Minaj's concert. I'm hoping that I can get a ticket because her concert is actually coming up soon in Baltimore. Yeah, it's, it's um, it's in April. Um, <clears throat> just a few more things. I know you all don't care. Jess Hilarious is pregnant. Um, Portia has officially announced that she will be returning back to Real Housewives of Atlanta. It was kind of like a rumor. I don't think that they should bring back um, Phaedra. That's kind of circling around too. I feel no, like Phaedra we married the money. is <laughs> married to medicine. Oh, yeah. Phaedra is being passed around like a hot potato. Um, to me, she's not good on married to medicine. Phaedra has always been messy, but she's like being, she's being, she's being super messy. Like, it's not even cute no more. But it's like, because I haven't watched it. But is she being messy or is it like, edited for her no. to be the message. Like, okay, I'll give y'all an example. Um, Dr. Greg. Now, you remember Dr. Greg, Quad, ex-husband? Yes, I remember Quad. Okay. okay. He, he got has a new, one. A new he wife. One. Sure. She brought Quad to the girls' bachelorette party. Well, why did Quad come? Because Quad's messy, but why would Phaedra messy is doing? You want to know what? You know what it sounds like? Again, the network setting her up to be the dumbass like they did Cause y'all already know how I feel with that Vaja rumor, um, with Beth. I mean, with the with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So, it's I, just, don't, I don't, I don't, th I don't think I think it's time for. Um, I don't think she lied on Candy though. I think she repeated what somebody else told her. Okay, now you're gonna have to cut it out. I'm not gonna keep on saying. I, I know said that you don't like Candy, but I've that's what I say is right now. I said what I said. Even Portia said she lied. She was lying to Portia. I've already said what I Look, said. We're not going to. In my head, no, what I want to be not, in my we're, head. We're not about to go and back and forth about the something from years ago. So we not. Because I said what I said. Anyway, so I'm happy about Phaedra. I mean, Portia coming back. Um, the net all talks about Nene. I'm always on the fence because... I know that Andy hates Nene. Let me tell you life. something. So I don't think if that Nene Nene's coming back, comes back, I'm watching it. I don't think Nene's coming I, back. I'm just letting y'all know if she does come back, I'm going to be there ready for the Shut first out. episode. Nene is out here looking like Carisha, a.k.a. Kim No, she do look like Carisha it's so much. Wild. It's so funny. We, had, we actually, me and Simone actually had a very long talk about Carisha this uh, past Sunday because, you know, it was her birthday. Yams. <laughs> And she was just saying that she was just trying to explain to me that Carisha has kind of went like a step down to her ever since she's not with Diddy anymore. Like she was like, it's almost like her uh, is gone. Like, and then you notice like nobody's really paying attention to young Miami anymore right now. Like, I mean, it was like she was everywhere for a moment. Well, that's because she, I mean, she was everywhere for a moment, but she was like out here because I feel like she has so much stuff coming out. So she had to be out here. I think right now she's just chilling. I think right now she's, she's just not chilling. She has a single out and got some Well, I mean, this, this is, see, when I feel like, I feel like when she does music and stuff, like, this is fun work. She's not popping anymore. Yeah, I I think she is still popping. I think she's popping. I love Young Miami. I love Risha. Yeah. I love Risha. Um, and, but I was also telling Simone that I, I know that I don't have a good ear for music because to me, I like Carisha's song. Everybody hated it. I don't know if I listened to it yet, but I do like <clears> Everybody <throat> just says that song. she can't, you know, she can't ride the beat. She don't know how to talk. Well, that's how she All her music sounds is, the same. That's how it is. That's her style, you guys. But they did make, I, I was telling Simone, like, I do feel like the city girls need to be together. Just like I feel like Chloe and Halle, for me personally, need to be together See, they make their best music together and simone was kind of saying you know carisha 
um, me, um, JT is very antisocial. Mm -hmm. And no, Carisha did. can't rap. So it's like together they do good, but apart it's like JT is promoting, but she's pretty much promoting just like on Twitter. She don't have to yeah, talk she's to like nobody. Promoting from home. You like, know what I mean? Like she, she don't want to interact like with humans. Tour. It's yeah, so I they mean, need each other. It's a crazy Sagittarius. Yeah, so. So, yeah. yeah. Um, and last but not least, because we forgot it last week, and a couple of you all mentioned it, but don't think I, I missed it. Selena's killer, Yolanda. Um, that bitch need to go back to jail. Don't even let her out. She's she's not out yet. I said don't let her yeah, out. Yeah, she's not out yet, but she is supposed to be getting out soon. She has an interview out, and she's actually trying to put it out that she really did not do this. I don't want to hear uh, what you have to say. She's trying to talk about how bad Selena and her family did her and, you know, just, like, tarnished her name. And what I need for y'all to know and what I need for Yolanda to know is that that little quote, anything for Selena's, Selena's community will literally kill Yolanda. Yeah. I'm just... I, I, you see how the, the, the camera went dark. I'm just telling you. Get the fuck out of here, S.A. I we don't want to hear that. I, Yolanda, honestly, to me, you see you, safer in jail. You <laughs> Get out and shut your mouth, okay? It, uh, don't be like Gypsy Rose out here. <laughs> get out and shut your mouth. I'm trying and to tell don't, you. I don't, if you do, because I really feel like Hulu or something is about to come out with a show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like a whole thing. Like, it's yeah, a whole thing. Buddy. I feel like it's so disrespectful. It, to Selena, but it's just like Chris. Like, you know what you gotta do, Yolanda. When I tell you, people still to this day ride for Selena. You're safer in jail, and that's all I'm gonna say. The fact that you made it this long as well. And what y'all need to know is that this is a Selena Stan account, so we don't have. But shit that to do. I don't. Don't play with me. Come on, Flo. We don't we don't fool with Yolanda. Mm -hmm. I've seen the news. I've skipped past it because I, I don't want to hear something it. that says she has to stay in. So I'm just telling y'all. But I think that's all we have. Um, mainly, I just wanted to come and talk about Beyonce. Huh? I don't. That might have to call ice on her ass. Is she locked up in America, or is she? I don't know what's going on with her. <laughs> I don't know. I anything about you but that you killed selena you took away our mexican princess um so i am planning to see you guys next week i am going to get tanea to come to my house I was say, what are you about to start come? doing videos on your deathbed bitch we don't get no week off damn no because I feel like if we start taking off, then we're going to mess up. I don't I'm calling do out. No. I have to heal from surgery. You can come and visit me. I'm calling out. And come visit Chippy, so. I'm calling out. Um, And shout out to everybody that talked to me about their dog last week when concerning as far as Peppa. Y'all, Peppa is crazy. It was so many people telling me that as their dogs got older that they actually did start to get like a little more aggressive mm -hmm. and crazy. Especially like the smaller ones. Um... Peppa is losing her damn mind. Somebody also made a point. They said maybe she is feeling protective over Chippy because she knows something's going maybe. on. I'm not sure. But Peppa is a psycho, y'all. Like, I'm in a fight <laughs> daily. Daily with this girl. I mean, I have to... Pull, I can't pull her from the top no more. I go down to the collar and drag her. I posted on Instagram the other day. I had to carry her back to the house because she wasn't letting up. And the other Doug wasn't letting up even, but the other Doug was bigger, and the owner didn't seem like she had control. Yeah, Me and Chippy don't deserve to get injured. She needs a fucking muzzle. Yo, she needs a mu Yo, she is crazy. Like, Peppa is insane. Mm -mm. I'm not kidding. Not, I'm not kidding. Um, so I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. I hope you all don't make me make my, my yearly Valentine's Day speech because... There's a lot of sour patches out there. I don't want y'all to be like that tomorrow. It's not about that. I always tell y'all, if y'all don't have a Valentine, hang with your friends. If you ain't got no damn friends, hang with your family. If you ain't got no family, celebrate yourself. Go get you some chocolates. Even make you a steak or go get you a steak dinner. Oh, Watch you a good movie or go to the movies if you're vegan. Do what y'all do. Do what y'all do. Can y'all even eat chocolate? Is it milk in No. Do what y'all do. Um, it's not about that. Like, it's not all about having a Valentine. It's just a day of love. I put up a few little decorations in here. I got a few I had some I had in here. 
for um you know the people who live here and that's gonna be it yeah that's i mean that's what it's all about like i said honestly most of my life i've been single so and i had a great time every year so i'm not sure why you all act like that like people are like oh my god i'm not getting on social media tomorrow and da -da -da -da. man please and a lot of these people that do have these little temporary Valentines, they won't be together on the 15th. So yeah, don't worry um, about it. Okay. Don't worry about it. Um, if this is your first time watching, make sure you subscribe. We'll be here every week with an all new video. For the people who have been watching, make sure you share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mother because they sister, your brother. Tell somebody about the show and we'll see you guys next week. Universe free. Well, and if you didn't know, now you know there's no show like the show. Excuse me. We got to go. Peace.